All right, we did a bunch off stream just because I was like, hey, it's getting a little repetitive. I didn't feel like it was super worth recording, but I might throw a couple of it, in, a couple little clips in here and there. This is the end. We have uh, learned some things about Ethan that he is a mold man. He is made of mold. <laughs> That's why he's like invincible. I cannot seem to run right now, but I think I got most everything around this. We're gonna go ahead and. Just save again real quick to be sure. And then we're going to go fight a homegirl. And probably get our ass whooped, but you know what? Whatevs. Whatevs. Alright, what do we got here? Let's, I don't have anything for that, do I? Oh, I do. Okay. Might want to put that... Out of my way. Nothing? No goodies? Well, you all gonna get stingy on me now, huh? Probably shouldn't be wasting all my ammo on this shit, but I gotta keep going. Yeah, so we learned that Ethan's been dead since the last game, and then he is made of mold, but that's why he can regenerate limbs and all that bullshit. Little Ava, my beautiful daughter. Come to me. Got Mother Miranda here. We learned a little bit about her story. She's trying to bring back her daughter by doing all these fucked up experiments, and they think they're saying that she is the origin of all of the mold, and she found it in a cave. Or some bullshit. My power is leaving me! But yes, we beat Monroe, or Moreau, and Heisenberg. And then we had a whole weird action-y sequence with Chris where you're just mowing down werewolves in the village. Call of Duty style. Give Rose to me. Now! You will see. Once I kill you properly, everything. Get her now! Uh, <laughs> uh. And you try to take it away from me. Uh-huh. I will yep. take what is due. The devil's... You already ripped my, my heart out, bitch. I don't know what else you can do. You're gonna do worse than rip my heart out. What the fuck? Ah, shit. You fulfilled your purpose. You disposed of my false children and awakened the glorious ones. Ah! Now, please do not worry for the gross. I assure nope. you I'll provide her with true and so now you can Oh rise. shit. Whoa, 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 whoa now, whoa now, whoa now. Did you start getting get tricky away. on me. How about this? <laughs> Hey, hey, There's stop nothing. it. Oh, God. 
Oh! I, I, I don't... How do I avoid that? Uh oh. Behind the tree, I guess? Ah! Oh shit, I'm out of bullets. Hey! Stop it. Hey! No, no, no! Oh, you fucking bitch. Re oh god, I don't have any health. Oh fuck, well we're done. We're about done. Run, motherfucker! Oh, <laughs> Rose is truly mine. Okay, well, there goes that. Hopefully, I still have all my shit, right? Ah, little Eva, my beautiful daughter. Oh, don't make me watch it again now. Come on now. You fulfilled your purpose, Mr. Williams. You disposed of my false children and gave them the glorious Mega Monsters. Now, please do not worry, the little Rose. I assure you, I'll provide her with two eyes. So now you can die. You understand the level of the Not a bit of weight. How can you deny me? Why the hell can't you realize Rose is my goddamn kid, not yours?
ever think the problem might be you, Miranda? You're not capable of real love. I will see my hopes. I must. Ethan! Ethan! Come on, Ethan. Come on, Ethan, wake up. Chris. Ethan. He did it. It's finished. I think we've finished each other. Ethan. We gotta move. I'm in that thing that'll blow this whole village sky high. Hey, look at me. When I hit this trigger, we can't be anywhere near it. Ah, damn it. Mia's waiting for you. She's alive, you hear me? Alive. Mia. I'm so sorry. I love you. Keep Rose safe. Hey, hey. Uh, hey. Uh, uh, uh. Tell yourself. Now, come on, it's not that much further. Watch over her. Teach her to be strong. God damn it. Goodbye, Rosemary.
go. Take us up now. Moving. We have to get clear. No! We can't go! Not without my husband! Mia, sit down and strap in. Not before you tell me where Ethan is. I know he wouldn't abandon us. Tell me what's going on. Where? SAA didn't send soldiers. This is a bioweapon. The hell were they thinking? Orders, Captain. Pick up the rest of the squad. Plot a course for BSAA Europe HQ. I liked it. I liked it. There was a uh, varied gameplay. Um, there are some stretches that are a bit, uh, shall we say, dull and repetitive, but at least there's like four or five different types of those stretches, so you're not doing the same thing in all four or five of them. But uh, there was, I think, just enough of the horror elements for me, a little bit of the action thrown in there at the end, which got... Um, it got annoying, but it was a fun, another again, a fun change of pace. So I, I would say this is good. I wouldn't say it's as good as 7. I think 7 on a horror scale is far superior. But this is a, is a very fun game. Um, it takes itself a little less seriously. And it, it, it tries to wrap the story of 7 into the rest of the series. I don't know if it's super successful in that way. But I, I'm okay with it because, I mean, it's fucking Resident Evil. And it's always been a little goofy, a little cringe, a little out there. So, I would say if you like the series, you'll probably like this. If you didn't like 7, maybe not. If you're not into the first person thing, I prefer it myself. But, yeah, I think Village is a success. Um, I'm sure we'll see more of some of these characters, especially Chris and the upcoming sequels. I don't know what they're going to do with Mary and Rose, or Mar Mia and Rose here. But, um, yeah, I think it's mostly su mostly successful. More successful than not. Could have gone for a little more of the horror in some parts, and, and a little less of the grind in some of the repetitive areas. Um, I'm thinking a lot of backtracking in that castle, and um, the Heisenberg level, the factory, got a little old for me pretty quick, but yeah, I fucking, I dug it. I dug, I dug Resident Evil Village. Oh, we got more. I wondered if we had like a, a little taggy, taggeroo. Oh, this is her, this is Rose, ain't it? He has a rocket ship. Uh, okay, then you can touch it, but it'd be very, very cool. Was that me, or is that just a random mom? You were being silly. <laughs> okay, it's just a random lady. Uh, 
Aren't you going off to college? <laughs> Resident Evil takes UCLA. There should be mold growing all over his tombstone. I have a lot of tests coming up. You know how it is. Talk of the goddamn devil. Duty calls. I love you. So we but we're what? Another seventeen years in the future from now, I guess? <laughs> Something like that. We have a situation. You're needed, Evelyn. Don't you ever call me that again. Whoa, whoa, it's just a joke, Rose. I can show you things even Chris doesn't know I can do. We have a clear shot. Stand down. I can handle it. She's just a kid. We need to keep it together, Rose. So I wonder if we're gonna follow her in the next. You're a lot like him, you know. No. So Mia's just fine. She has no issues. She just uh, <laughs> is she also a mold person? <laughs> Got a moldy coot. Hmm. The fuck is that? Someone up there in the street? The father's story is now done. And the daughter's story begins, huh? Alright, well, that's interesting. Yeah, Resident Evil Village. Thumbs up.